welcome to Pastel Tapas. I'm Debbie Harding and I'm a pastel artist and today I'm going to share a little demo with you of this piece that I just finished. Now this is a piece, uh, this is a photo that I took in Squim, and it's just a little um, a vignette, a little nook or cranny of a, a cute little barn. And one of the things I loved about it was the spider's web. That's why I got, captured this photo, because when I got to my destination that day and looked up and saw, there was not just one spider's web, but there were probably 10 of them that were lined up along these trees that were there. And when I looked through it and saw the light shining, and the sun glinting off of the little drops of dew on the spider's web. I thought, wow, what a, what a neat shot. So I, I really had a fun time doing this demo. Some of the things I think you can watch for are, are just the way that uh, I use the values in this piece. I put the very lightest lights down first and then some of the darks and then use those kind of as placeholders and worked around that. I think that's what makes uh, this piece so dramatic is the contrast in it and the light streaming in and was able to get that look on the uh, on the right side of the piece here with a really bright light coming in behind that tree which is what's making this side over here glow so much and of course then the spider's web and I'm going to tell you that this was an experiment I've never done anything quite like this before, and I really wondered how in the world I would get that look. So take, you know, wait for the end because <laughs> then you're gonna see how I do that. When I get to that point, I'll uh, narrate that part a little bit for you so you can uh, hear some narration. Up until then, I'm going to pick out some highlights, speed it up, and let you see highlights of this. If you would like to see the full version with the full narration, please do check out my Patreon page. I appreciate all of the support that I get uh, in order to do videos like this uh, for YouTube and other video platforms, but also to share the full version with my uh, Patreon members who are just um, such a delight to me. And I thank you, thank you to my Patreon members. Okay, I look forward to seeing you there and let's get started on this demo.
you see how I pushed those out and made marks that the mark itself is the shape of the branch? I think that's so important that you, you have an economy of mark making. That if you can make one, if you can push your pastel just once and have it make the mark that you want in order to show the direction of something or the shape of something, that's the best idea. And now I've picked out a really nice bright green to go over and kind of this patchy patchiness on top because you can see that's what it looks like as the light is hitting it. And watch how I pull that down um, in front there. So that gives the feeling that the plants are, are kind of becoming lower and uh, you know, they, they're dipping down there. And so I wanted to do that. You know, this is really, really very bright, but that's what's happening there. The sun is just gleaming off of those leaves. So we're going to now be doing a lot of the finishing marks on the landscape part of it. Um, that'll be mostly done before we get, get the spider web going. But this I thought was important was to give a little bit of an indication of the tree that was overlapping on that side. And I like the fact that it, it was, um, breaking up that just expanse of darkness. Put that one little green dot in between in the shadow. Oftentimes that's a nice way to handle a shadow between two spaces is to put a little highlight of some color peeking out because even in a shadow, you know, a branch could be sticking it, there might be a deeper shadow and maybe a, a leaf is protruding out into the sunlight slightly. So you'll see a, a glint of highlight or color in, uh, in the shadow area. 
So this, okay, now we're going to start. I wanted to say, how am I going to do that spider web? So this was my first test. This pastel I have in my hand is a brand new uh, Rembrandt pastel. I just opened the box for this. And I thought, you know what? I have to roll the pastel. I can't drag it. I, I did it a little bit here and there. But I thought, if I drag it, I'm going to end up with this heavier look to it. I decided that the color I had picked, which was on the yellow side, wasn't quite right, and so I picked out this very light blue, almost white, and um, I'm just kind of learning how to manage holding that pastel while I roll it. It was kind of like when I was a little girl and I had a baton and I kept practicing twirling that baton <laughs> in between my fingers. That's kind of what I felt like when I was doing this. That um, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you're using your fingers. This is probably a skill that you would get better at the more you did this. But see how just delicate and faint that made that line. And uh, there were a couple of times, like I said, when I got kind of tired of the rolling thing <laughs> and I just drug it along. But then I did notice that the line got heavier. So this was an important part of it. And trying to keep them fairly even and straight. Now this was a part, this, this was neat, was doing um, those ones that go around the <clears throat> around the periphery, round and round, and how they kind of dip down here and there. And one of the things that I noticed was that, um, of course, as you are looking at the web and it's going into the sky, you don't see it anymore. Um, when it's overlapping the darker places, then it shows up. And it was the, you know, the web had been there a while, I suppose, I expect, and it was broken. Uh, there were places where there were parts missing, and some of the, some of the circular parts going around and round were much closer together and overlapping, and, and other parts were um, farther apart and spaces and missing parts it it just wasn't even and I felt like that was important to to um, make it as random in the uh, even though it's a design and the spider definitely has a design nature messed with it already <laughs> the wind blew it um, maybe there was a, a an insect caught in it already in part of it. Uh, so it, it just was not a perfect structure anymore. And here is a place where, you know, I'm putting these they're, they're pretty close together, and you see how they kind of scoop in and out, too, if you look at it, if you look at the photo. Also, one of the things I liked about the photo was it had dewdrops on it. Um, I probably can figure out a better way to do do. To do, do. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, how am I going to say this? I can probably figure out a better way how to render dewdrops. I was going to put two dews in a row there and I didn't, didn't think that would work. Um, but um, I don't know. I tried using, you'll see, I tried using a pastel pencil 
I, you know, I'm not a fan of pastel pencils a lot of times. The leads on them, they, they, they're hard. There's not, it's hard to get it to leave pastel on the paper. And especially if you're doing a small, del delicate little thing, um, I find. I don't know, maybe I have the wrong brand. I'll have to look into that. I just have to tell you, as I was going along here with this, um, I was getting more and more excited as I went. But wow, this is turning out better than I expected. How fun is this? Let's see, I'm going to try to do, see, I'm trying to do some of the, uh, the little dew drops. Uh, I was able to do okay by pushing that pastel on like that. Um, you know, I might have tried a softer pastel, the Rembrandts are so hard, but I was afraid of getting it too big. I didn't want, I mean, the dew drops were so tiny. I didn't want it to be too large and pronounced. So you could see that uh, I picked out a couple of other colors. I actually probably just one more for the spider web. There was a, a brighter blue that I just just ran over a couple of really small areas with. To give a little variety to it and now um i i believe that i uh, this was the second day and i've gone back and i brushed out some of the bottom lower corner because i felt like i kind of overdid it there and i'm trying to pull some of the colors together on these um these two masses here um, as I said, I, I'm not sure I may want to do it a little bit more. I, I feel like I need to look at it some more.
every mark I'm making is so, so little pressure I'm putting on it. It's just the most delicate thing. Well, we truly are at the end of the painting now. These are the last marks, and I know I'm going to put just one pop of orange right there. Thank you for joining me on this demo of this piece that uh, I just did and I'm so happy that you're taking a look at my pastel tapas. I do invite you to like this channel, to subscribe if you haven't already, to leave comments. You know people who leave comments really help to boost up that YouTube algorithm which is uh, kind of a uh, a notoriously mysterious thing I think so leave a comment and share my video and I sure appreciate it so thank you and you have a good day and I look forward to sharing more with you bye bye